In this video, I want to introduce you to the circle command and a couple of its options. The circle command is located on our home uh, panel, or I can just type a C at the command line and hit enter. And the first thing it asks for is the center of the circle, so I'm going to click on the intersection. And it defaults to radius, so it says specify the radius. So if I just type a 2 right now, it'll give me a radius of 2. So let's go and select the dimension or the diameter option for this one. So I'm going to type the circle command again, start my circle, and this time, instead of radius, I want to change it to diameter. So I'm going to type a D, enter. Now it asks me for the diameter of the circle, and if I click on 4 this time, it'll give me a 4-inch diameter circle, which is exactly the same as a 2-inch radius circle. So those are the two main options inside circle command. Most of our dimensions in this class are going to be of the diameter variety, so we will have to change that to diameter every time we use a circle. And it's not too hard. Remember, it's just C for circle. Click on the intersection, type a D, enter for diameter, and then I can just click in the diameter, whatever I want it to be. And that is your introduction to the circle command. In this video, I want to introduce you to the fillet command and a couple of different options that we have in it. Basically, what fillet does is it puts a rounded corner on two lines. So let's, we're going to do a couple of different things with it. On my uh, panel, it is right here for fillet. Or at the command line, I can type an F and enter. And if I, right now, my radius is set to zero. So if I just click the two lines, it's just going to bring those two lines to a point at a zero degrees radius. And that can be very beneficial if that's what I want that to do. But let's put a corner or a radius in this one. So I'm going to type F for fill it again, but instead of radius of zero, I want to change the radius. So I'm going to type an R and hit enter. Now it asks me for a fillet radius. So I'm just going to type in a 1.5 enter. Now it asks me to select my object, so I'm going to select that line and that line, and it will put in a 1.5 radius fillet. Let's do one more over here. My lines don't need to cross. So F for fillet. R for radius. Let's put in a 2 inch radius this time. I can click my line, click my line, and it will automatically extend that up and put a 2 inch radius fillet in. So if I go back over to this one, fill it again. It's set to 2 inches. Let's go ahead and leave that. Click on my two lines, and I can put a 2 inch fillet radius in there. And that is your introduction to the fillet command. 